Good evening. Uh, it's an honor to be here. My name is Youssef. I'm working at uh, Partnership for Secure America under the supervision of Nathan uh, Sermones. I work on issues um, mostly advocating bipartisanship among staffers on the Hill uh, on issues like climate change, foreign policy, and national security. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. And national security. Uh, I guess the best way to put it for you is that I uh, grew up in Gaza until the age of 16. Uh, I, at a very young age, I found myself in uh, an ocean, an ocean of uh, many contradictions and opposing ideas, uh, love versus uh, uh, hatred, forgiveness versus revenge, uh, war versus peace. Uh, thanks to God and my father, I've been able to keep my head above water and swim forward. I don't know how to swim backwards, and I don't know how to float. So the fellowship has given me an opportunity to uh, catch my breath, learn how to float, comprehend what's going on around me, because sooner or later it's going to be time to swim forward again. Uh, so I thank you all. I hope to make my people, my father, Pete Scoville, and uh, everyone in the room proud someday. Thank you. Hi there, everybody. I'm Charlie Powell. I'm currently at NTI. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the board of the Scoville Fellowship and Paul Revson, who's an incredible steward of the program. So thank you, Paul. <laughs> I'd also like to thank my NTI team here, uh, Leon, uh, Elsie, Ali, and Lord Brown, if you're here, and Carter, of course. The other thing I'd like to thank is the funders, the donors. Thank you so much. Um, and for the donors, I get, I'll have a story for you. Um, I wrote my Scoville Fellowship application on non luger cooperative threat reduction and the tragedy of current U.S.-Russia relations. And then, like, six months later, I get the opportunity to go to Russia with Senator Sam Nunn. <laughs> and like the first day, I'm like totally jet lagged. I, I get there, I'm in Russia, and we're in Senator Nunn's uh, hotel room, and we're writing his remarks for the next day. And I'm in the room with like five other people while Sam Nunn and you know, like MTI team wordsmiths for him. And I pinch myself like as I'm jet lagged. I must be dreaming. And then I'm like, oh no, I must be here. So thank you, donors, for like making my. Like, <laughs> My actual application happened because I came from like writing about it to doing it, and you gave me a seat at the table. So thank you so much. Hi everyone, thank you FCNL for the shout out. Um, good evening, I'm Julia Watson. I'm currently doing my fellowship at the Friends Committee on National Legis Legislation Education Fund within the Peace Building Program. So I'm working with Allison, Theo, Asana, and then also all the rest of the foreign policy team is here as well, which is awesome to see you guys. Um, so I actually just started a month ago, and I have absolutely loved my time at FCNL. I have to say that the people have made the organization just so wonderful to work with. You guys have made it feel like a home, um, and it's been wonderful to work on peace and security issues. Um, so in addition, we've been working on the Prevention and Protection Working Group. We have an experts committee going on on the um, prevention of mass atrocities and genocide, which will be doing a follow-up for the presidential election. Um, and of course, we've been doing work on the Genocide and Atrocities Prevention Act. That's a bipartisan bill currently in the Senate. Um, so thank you so much. I also want to thank Paul for everything that he does. Um, he's done the whole organization for the work. I also want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Um, it means a lot. And thank you to the board um, for having us here. Um, it's been such an incredible experience, and I'm looking forward to the next six months as well. Thank you. Um, my name is Lauren Chadwick. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here. Um, I think we all you know, really appreciate that you all are here to um, recognize this fellowship, which has been an incredible experience for me so far. Um, I'm a month into my fellowship at the Center for Public Integrity. Um, my goal, um, I was interning in nuclear policy uh, when I was an undergraduate at Columbia, and um, then I spent a year at NBC News. And my goal was to marry the two uh, topics, nuclear policy with media, 
thinking that uh, an educated media is um, what we need in um, this country, and I, I think it exists, and I'm hoping to keep working towards that. I'm uh, very lucky to work with Jeff Smith at the Center for Public Integrity, um, where we're uh, working on nuclear security issues and um, covering the Pentagon specifically is what I've done. In my month, I've already been published on the Center's website and uh, in Time and Slate, so I feel very fortunate um, to be here and to be working with um, all these incredible people. So thank you so much for the opportunity.